So there's three uh, topics that we're going to be, or three questions that I'm going to be going over with you guys today. So the first one is, why is protein important? Second one is, how much protein do you need? And also what that looks like. And the first one are, what is the best sources? So like I said, protein is one of the three main macronutrients that we have. The main um, responsibility of protein is for cell repair and growth and muscle recovery. So it's important that we make sure that we bear that in mind um, because we are made of protein. Everything in our bodies is essentially protein. Um, so why is protein important? So what I kind of just said there would explain it, but why is it important then to make sure that we're actually taking on protein, eating enough protein if our bodies are made of it? The reason for that is that protein helps preserve our muscles. We create protein within our bodies, but we don't create all the protein that we need. We actually have to digest a certain amount of protein as well. And by doing so, we're able to keep muscle, we're able to sustain that. So if we're not getting it through our diets, we'll actually find that our muscle will decrease. Um, and the less muscle we have, um, the more it impacts on our activity uh, and on our daily life. And it also takes me into that second point of having enough protein helps reduce the effects of aging. Um, and the reason that it does this is by slowing down something that's known as sarcopenia. So sarcopenia is the loss of muscle mass specifically as you age. So it's why it's so important that we make sure that we're keeping muscle because the less muscle we have, the more difficult it is for us to be active and for us to also be independent as we age and as we grow up. Now, we cannot stop the um, effects of uh, losing muscle. It will happen as we grow older, but we can certainly slow it down. And by doing that, we actually mean that we slow down um, us getting older.